Alright guys, Friday 10th of April here, again core mobility of week 3, we're going to work on our hamstrings and our hip flexors here to kick things off, Gary's going to lie down onto the floor, we're going to work on our hamstrings first, so legs nice and long here, Gary's going to interlock his fingers, he's going to pull his hands from his hamstring, pulling that quad in nice and close to his belly button, nice and close to the chest, we're going to hold 60 seconds on one side, release that leg, we'll interlock the fingers again behind the hamstring, pull that quad in towards your belly button or towards your chest, for 60 seconds on that side. Once Gary's finished, 60 seconds each side, he's gonna flip over into the bottom of a lunge here. So you'll see one knee is underneath the hip, the other foot is forward. I'm actually gonna get Gary to bring that other, his front leg slightly further forward so he can really reach those hips deep into that stretch. Again, right down along the quad, you'll feel it into the hip flexor and into the front of the tummy a small bit. So you're gonna go 60 seconds on one side here, 60 seconds on the other side. From this position then we're going to spin around and we're going to go for that kneeling groin stretch. So again, Gary's going to hop over onto all fours. He's going to extend his left leg out to the side here. You'll feel a stretch from inside uh, the hip the whole way down to the inside of the knee. If you want to feel a deeper stretch, you're going to sit your hips further back towards that heel that's on the ground. Again, if you want a deeper stretch again, you're now going to drop your elbows down to the floor. Again, 60 seconds on one side, 60 seconds on the other side. Once we're finished there guys, Gary's going to hop up onto his feet, we're going to work on stretching both hamstrings and both quads at the same time over the next two stretches. Gary's going to set himself up here against the wall, so what he's going to do to kick things off, he's going to go heel to wall here, and then he's going to go heel to toe. From there now, that's the position he's going to be out from the wall, bum stays in contact, legs stay long. Again, he's going to use that upper body to, uh, for his weight to fall forward to get that stretch into the hamstrings. One thing we're not looking for here is to let our knees bend. As soon as those knees bend, that stretch gets away from us, okay? We're looking to keep those legs nice and straight and you're only falling as far forward as your body allows, okay? So we're gonna spend two minutes in this stretch now today. Once we're finished that two minute block, we're gonna hop down onto our knees onto the floor and we're looking for a double quad stretch. So from this position, you'll see Gary is set up here where his shins are nice and flat to the ground. Again, for some of us, that might be the range we have. We not, might not be able to lean any further back yet, but spending two minutes in this stretch will really allow us to get a little bit more length into that. You see Gary's quite flexible through his quads, through his hips, so his hands are able to come right behind his body here. Some of us at home, I know myself and Gary aren't gonna be able to do it, so I'm not gonna make him do it, is actually lie your shoulder blades back down into the ground. Outrageous for some I know, but some of us will be able to do that. Again, two minutes in this stretch and we are golden, okay? To finish things off today guys, what we're going to do is we need a weight. So what we're looking on is something heavy that we can hold in one hand that adds a little bit of resistance to our core work, okay? What Gary's going to work on first here, you'll see the dumbbell weight is in his right hand side. Keeping his upper body nice and straight so his shoulders stacked over his hips, hips stacked over his heels. He's going to use that weight now and fall out to one side, getting a nice big stretch up along his obliques on the opposite side. Once he's finished, he's going to crunch back through, nice big squeeze. He's going to go for 20 reps on one side. He's going to swap the dumbbell over. Again, everything stays in a nice straight line here. Big squeeze, big crunch. 20 reps on the other side. Using that same dumbbell now, we're going to hop down onto the ground. He's going to hop into a plank position for me. So again, gymnastics plank. Hands underneath the shoulders. Tummy is tight, quads are tight, bum is tight. He's going to have the dumbbell set to the outside of his left hand, but what he's going to do right now is reach under his body with his right hand, twist, grab, and pull. Same on the opposite side. Twist, grab, and pull. 20 reps there, and he is good. And once he's done there, guys, dumbbell is pushed away to one side. Gary's going to pop back into this plank position now. Again, squeezing everything super, super tight. Our main focus on our core block today is hitting the sides of our body. So you've got a muscle group here, your serratus and your obliques, that we're looking to get nice and strong. So from this position, Gary's going to lift his right knee up high and outside the outside, squeezing everything through his side here. That's two, that's three, opposite side, that's four, opposite side, that's five, one more for good luck, and six, and relax. Every single time we lift that knee up, guys, we're looking to crunch, make everything a little bit smaller, make sure we've got loads of tension. That is us for Friday, guys. That is us for the week. Happy mobility, happy core. Have a great week, guys. Peace and love.